Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have a little bit of a haul for you. I've already tried to film this multiple times, sadly enough. <laughs> but I hope that you're going to enjoy some of the things that I picked up during the week leading up to and on National International Scrapbooking Weekend. So without further ado, I'm going to do this in a couple of different parts. Um, I will try to mention the shops where I shopped this go around. And then um, if you stay tuned, if you're really interested in seeing the actual paper collections, I will come back to those, but I'm just going to kind of just show you, give you an overview. Um, for those who may not want to see each of the individual papers. Okay, so very first one, this is, I'm going to try to get out of the glare. It is very rainy out today. Um, and I have uh, the Cartabella Farmhouse Christmas, and this is from 2020. This is just a, I'm going to try to just pull the sticker sheet just to show you guys a sampling of the beautifulness of this collection it is gorgeous and um i was just taking some inventory over the last few weeks in the weeks leading up to um what i knew what it was going to be a shopping uh weekend and i knew i needed some um some a christmas collection because i'm i'm slowly working through what i have all right next is um did i mention these are from a cherry on top i think i forgot to mention that <laughs> okay this is uh echo park this is the farmer's market um i love this color color combination with this very deep teal and the yellows and this corally color and the reds i don't know it's just something about it i really really love it um let's look for the sticker sheet and here is this beautiful sticker sheet. There we go. I think this is so versatile, right? It's not just about um, farming <laughs> or far, like farm life, but I love the fact that it had like lots of different um, seeds and cooking and those kinds of things in here. So that's fun. All right. So I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed with this next one, but it was everything that I'm showing you was on sale. So next I picked up some of this color vibe. I need to compare it to what I have previously purchased because I don't know if it was if it was the color vibe, but I was running low on some of these colors for my wood grain. And I decided, since it was on sale, I decided to pick some up. There's only six papers in here. <sighs> the disappointing part is that it is kind of flimsy paper. And so when I had first run through here, I'm just going to fan this out. When I had first done my first or second run through of showing you this haul, I didn't know if it was just because of the fact that I was touching really thick paper like Cartabella and Minte and all of those wonderful luscious papers. But here they are, just a sampling. But they, even today, they still feel very on the flimsy side. They're not flimsy, but they feel on the flimsy side. All right, so, um, this other collection, just grab this first. I picked up also from a cherry on top. And this is the 49 and Market. This is the Vintage Artistry Everywhere. You will see I picked up one more collection for an upcoming trip that I have planned. Um, so I decided to, I really loved this collection. Um, and I decided to pick this up along with some additional things. So um, some of these I've already taken out of the... Um, package <laughs> um but i'll show you here these are the laser cut elements again i'll go in a little bit more detail after if you want to see these in a little bit more detail 
These are the 146 um, ephemera bits. So here they are. Sorry about the glare. Oh, unavoidable. And maybe I can just move it off to the side here. These are the Everywhere Rub-On Transfer. So there's six, six by eight sheets of this. And here is a sampling of them. And I also picked up the Everywhere Defining Words. These are also rub-ons. <gasps> I love these. Love, love, love these. And they have two sheets. And this one has a lot more icons and also has some words. With that collection, I also picked up the film strip frames. So um, there's a total of 30 film strips, various sizes, various widths and lengths. So I this is my first time that I'm picking those up for any 49 and Market collection. I know they, they have had them for a while. Okay, next we have this was a collection that had me that had me love it and then I kind of skipped over it and then I came back to it <laughs> because I absolutely love it. So there's two sheets of each of these papers in the minte papers here and it has um it has a bonus sheet i'll just show you that beautiful and yeah that is i was gonna stay the sticker sheet but no 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 this is minte it's just the paper that we have here all right so let me show you what else i picked up for these and these are the paper elements. Hopefully you're not seeing too much glare. And I also picked up the uh, paper die cuts for this collection. Again, this going along with the trip that we have planned. So very purposeful purchasing. A cherry on top also gifted i think those that purchased um the 49 and market the chipboard stickers for the vintage artistry hike more very cute and these um doodle bug designs doodle pops cardstock stickers which is i love cherry on top <laughs> it's cute all right so that is it for a cherry on top. Okay, let me put this to the bottom so that it makes a little bit of sense. All right. I also decided to purchase the um, scrapbook room kit for the month of May. So if you're unfamiliar with the scrap room kit, you get a sampling of four different collections. You don't get the entire thing. You get a sampling and you get a sampling usually of papers and some sort of embellishments. That, hopefully that is clear. So here is what came in my May. Here's the A side, B side. Because there are not many of these, I will run through them fairly quick. Here's the B side. Okay that beautiful i fell in love with this collection seeing this you'll see you'll see in a second with this beautiful paper and then you always i think almost always get um cardstock so this is basil cardstock in fig swirl and then as part of this crate paper gingham garden you also get a partial foam sticker sheet and these are these are uh, these are the foam stickers and then these are this is a sticker sheet of like washi it's thin Ooh, I think I just curled out oops 
um, some washi stickers. All right, so that's the first one. Let me just put that with that so I don't lose it. All right, the second one is a sampling of, uh -oh, I messed it up, I messed it up, here we go. A sampling of, Let's Go Travel by Echo Park. It's this beautiful paper. There's the sun. I love this green. I love it, love it. Airplanes. There's this one. Oh, this blue is to die for. And then you get the two pieces of cardstock. And then we got a full sticker sheet for this one. Beautiful. So again, with the whole travel theme. Beautiful, beautiful. And collection number three is by, um, this one is by Fancy Pants and it's the Honey Bee Rosebane. Let me make sure. Yeah, okay. Here's side A, here's side B. Here's the Honey Bee. And here's this other one. Very cute. And then it came, this is the cardstock it came with. And then it also came with this. Um, there's some die cuts in here and some puffy stickers. If you could see. And last but not least is the My Story by Simple Stories collection or sampling. Love this floral. Oh, this is gorgeous as well. Very pretty. Nice neutral there for the background. I love this green. I'm obsessed with this green. Look at this. Love it. And then you get two pieces of this uh, Nikon. Uh, basil cardstock. It's good to kind of have the name because sometimes, you know, you go in and you're like, oh, I don't know what green I, I need or want as part of my stash. So I struggle with that. Probably I'm in the minority. So here, here is a sample of, ooh, this is really tight. So I may not try to get that out. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to bend it or rip it. So let me just take out the die cuts. Here are the die cuts. These are some foam stickers, and I got some flat back adhesive backed brads with this collection. And I must say, I am still a little bit on the fence about whether or not I'm going to subscribe every month, but I love these collections and I just wanted them. <laughs> um, the other thing I did do is I loved the collection so much that I decided to get the paper add-on. So here are the add-on papers. Um, this one uh, is from Gangnam Garden. I love this one. I am so glad I got another one. Beautiful. This is from Echo Park. Beautiful. If you remember, they had um, they they had another collection um, called I believe it. The name of it was or is Pack Your Bags from years ago, and it uses the same color, the same color uh, family, or similar, I should say, because uh, I'm not exact, but I may still have some of it. Um, let's go travel. I can't remember if that's one of the ones that I used up. Beautiful, I love these little postage stamps. Here is from um, the Fancy Pants, the Honey 
honey and bee i think i said that wrong the first time honey and bee rose babe <laughs> beautiful florals here's the bee side look at that wood grain and this is from simple stories my story so here's some floral on both sides of this this is beautiful love the scale of this flower flowers because these are smaller so that's the add-on they also had their older kids on sale so i'm going to show you this is i think it's the november 2021 kit and this is um cartabella sunflower market i absolutely love love this green love it i'm in, i'm in love with this green and in the next collection i'll show you the blue it's gorgeous this combo has my heart for sure i think i remember there's another collection and maybe there's many that use this combo i love it though i love 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 it here's sunflower market here are the three by four cut aparts here's the b-side the chickens and the roosters and this beautiful green that comes with the two pieces of white cardstock and the sticker sheet love it i really adore that okay next in this one i'm obsessed with the blues <laughs> this is fall uh from echo park this one is from 2021 and here I'm going to just do a quick flip through of the papers. I love this. The plaid on the back. Oh, look at this blue. Look at this blue. I know my lighting is probably not doing it any justice. Here are the four by four cut aparts. This beautiful fall is in the air. Happy fall, crisp leaves. Some tone on tone text on the other side that I was reading off. And here are some sunflowers. And here's this beautiful indigo from this collection. It's just gorgeous. And that came with this, um, this uh, sticker sheet of words and some additional uh, ephemera die cuts. Okay. And then... We have Cardabella Welcome Winter. Beautiful. I love the green. This green is just luscious. Beautiful, beautiful. Love this plaid. Cardabella wood grain, tiled wood grain or tile. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful. And then you get two um, pieces of the white textured cardstock. Oops. Hold There's that. And then you get some um, enamel dots in navy, which they're hard to come by. And then some um, die cuts. And then uh, last but certainly not least is Simple Vintage Country Harvest. So Simple Vintage Country Harvest. I have a couple of pieces of these. None of these, I don't believe I have. Uh, none of these pieces of paper, which is really great. I think I only got like two or three. Um, so here's a side B. Look at the butterflies. So pretty. The gingham. And this beautiful pumpkin. And then you get two of the neutral card stocks. And then with this one, you also got the foam stickers and a sampling of the die cuts. So that will go with my other collection. So that is it for the scrap room. Correct? I believe so. 
Okay, so I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to subscribe to the scrap room. It will, it really will all depend on whether or not, um, you know, when I get the, when they first share their kit, I'm leaning towards yes, but um, to be determined, I'm not 100% sure. All right, so my next pile <laughs> is from, and I'm going to separate this just one second. Okay. My next pile is from Joann's. So Joann's had a sale on their new designer series papers from American Crafts. So I went ahead and picked some of those up because they had, were having a good sale. Um, all of the loose papers, I think most of the loose papers they had, some they had available, some they didn't. They had really inexpensive shipping. So um, a lot of the stuff was not in the store, which is fine. Um, and it, But it was justifiable because the shipping was so low. So I did go ahead and pick up just a couple, actually like maybe four pieces of this Heidi Swap set sale which are the small ledgers. And then the flip side is this really pretty Distress Blue. I really bought it and picked it up for the ledgers. And then this beautiful, this is also from Set Sale. I picked it up for the Sunrise Sunset. And I picked up two. And I was watching, I think I was watching somebody um, do a layout or a series of layouts using Gingham Garden. And I absolutely fell in love with it. I can't remember who it was, otherwise I would mention them. But I absolutely fell in love with um, this collection. The subtle... Just the softness of it, I think, just um, is what got me. But I, I love a lot of things crepe paper, so it's no surprise. <laughs> so let me just go through. Some of these um, are duplicates. And, and mind you, this is the one that was in the scrap room. So was this. This was not. This is the cut aparts. Um, and the tags and the three by four and four by four cut aparts. To get two of these, I'm not sure. Um, these beautiful floral. I got two of these as well. There's the B side. This is the paisley, but I really got it for this ledger. It's beautiful very um pastel coral in this beautiful rainbow in the back I got two of those and these uh cut aparts and this beautiful coral distress coral on the back and then i also picked up two of these wood grain with the floral on the corners oh, here's the back side but i picked it up for this It's been a while since I picked up any of the uh, American Crafts paper pads. I know. I said I was done buying paper pads, but I was I, I was kind of teetering on the the fence and I just decided since they were marked down, I just went for it. So this comes with stickers, pattern papers, and cardstock. So I felt like I could, didn't have to get all of the papers from the sale. I could just supplement whatever I needed from the paper pad. And I must say, I was very pleasantly surprised. So maybe it's just me, but I'm, I'm remembering like, I don't know, some of the other project pads I bought from there. Listen to the stickers. 
they are not thin like I remember. They are no longer. <laughs> so I love that about these. And some of these have foiling, so I apologize ahead of time. But you see it's that same wood grain. It looks slightly different, but I'm okay with that. This one has way too much foiling, so I won't show you. But here are the butterflies, fo foiled. Lots of these are foiled, which I'm okay with. This one is not. See, I didn't get any of these. And I'm sorry, it's sideways. It's just, it's just going to interfere if I go this way. I'm so glad this one was in here. I was like, oh, I could see myself using that over and over, over and over. Beautiful. Isn't this pretty? Oh, just so gorgeous. And then these are all of the neutrals or the, the plain pattern papers that are like cardstock, you know? Okay. So that's the paper pad. And I also purchased the Gingham Garden. This is also from Joann's. The um, set of stickers. I have these. I purchased, whoops, I purchased the ephemera pieces. So here they all are. See those? The ephemera. And I also picked up the enamel dots. And they also had this old woodland grove maggie holmes collection and i thought this would be real i don't have anything from this collection i never bought it but i thought um i would use some of these flowers to augment the um the gingham garden collection i think some of them will definitely go all right so that's it you guys for the the kind of overview of the haul if you're still with me and want to take a look at the um, the other collections uh, that I bought from HRE on top, stay tuned. Just gonna shift some stuff over. All right, so here is Minte Mediterranean Heaven. And the, all of these include a bonus sheet on the back. So here's the bonus sheet. You can cut apart. And I'm just going to show you some of these beauties. And you get, again, you get two of each. So you get like the very, <laughs> very colorful. And then you get equally colorful. But sometimes on the back side, they do have some more neutral things like wood grain. Look at those. Oh my gosh. I just can't. I, when I tell you, I cannot wait. Look at the brick so pretty um very nice look at that love these cut aparts it's gonna be and some additional cut aparts on the back and i believe this is is this the same see this is this is the hard part sometimes i can't tell the difference yeah, that this is where they restart. Okay. Yeah, correct. So you've seen all the papers. This is just, they just restart here. Okay. So that's the paper. I also purchased the 60 paper die cuts. I think I showed you guys these already. But here, so you can see them a little bit, ooh, a little bit closer up. So here you have the 27 paper elements and these really caught my eye because I was like, ooh, what if I want to make like little interactional little things? Like how do these work, right? I'm going to take these out just to show you for an example, these larger pieces. Oops. Let me see, maybe I can pick one that has, oh, this one I think you can see a little bit better. It's hard to see, and they're not scored, 
but if you look very closely <laughs> these have little score marks here around the edges where you can actually do some folding and so you would fold them and then you could put a photo or journaling or whatever and it can be an interactional element which this is new for me i don't i haven't purchased these from them before and then they have other things obviously that you can there's tags there's different things that um, you can put on the inside or the outside of these here's some tags here's some labels here's some of these so like for example if you had one of these and pretend this was like closed right you could have it like there so that like that's what you use to open and that's so cool yeah there's lots of different like pieces that you can use and they have they have various sizes for these interactional little things so i thought you know what i might as well might as well the heck is that little plastic piece all right i just don't want to mess these all up and lose the pieces so some of these smaller ones i'm not going to take out I'm just going to have to just show you them okay Speaking of which, <laughs> okay, let's do the papers first with these. This is, um, this is 49 and Market, Vintage Artistry Everywhere. So let me show you, this is the 12 by 12 collection pack. This has eight double-sided papers and there's one of each design. So not not a ton of paper. You're not getting two of each or anything like that. You have some um, cut apart elements here. And here we go with the papers. This one is beautiful. It's called Wonder. Very pretty. This one's called Pilgrimage. Really pretty as well. Great big world. Oh, I love this side. Did I say this? Yeah, great big world. This one is called In the Deep. Oops. And the, the quality of the paper is just beautiful. This one is called Airmail Artistry. Another gorgeous. I mean, can you ever go wrong? I don't know if I, I have yet to see any. I don't know if you can go wrong with Ford United Market. Uh, mapping the world. I love this. Because you have a map of the world and then it's like a kind of like a nautical map back here. And then you actually have like a street map. Kind of cool. Like in all different, um, uh, it's like a tone on tone, which is really cool. It's pretty. This is gorgeous. This is called the Unknown. I love these. This one is called Ticket Montage. Gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with these. All right. So what did I purchase? And I can show you is I purchased the laser cut elements from them. This is, uh, here they are. they gorgeous they're just so beautiful oh look and they also I, I, this might be the first time i bought stuff from them they even have cut apart stuff on the back of the the um the cover and here's you get two sheets and here's the second sheet you get a variety of different different of the colors in the collection which is awesome this is the first time I have purchased the film strip frames from them. I'm sorry if you're getting a glare. But this just goes with the colors in the collection. And there's just all kinds of various sizes and shapes. This one, I'm definitely not taking out. <laughs> this is 146 pieces. I really can't afford 
to uh, drop any of these. My gosh, can you imagine? It would be like, did you ever play um, 52 or 54 pickup as a kid? Yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> All right, so here are the beautiful like pieces. Oh, I just love them. And then these are two sets of Robons. So this is the Robon transfer set. So this comes with six six by eight sheets, and you get the little application tool. Here's a close up of the different sheets. Very pretty. I also love the 49er Market, um, their Robons. So I decided to get the defining words for this collection. So it's all travel related. And then um, the different symbols for travel and then some additional words and definitions and things like that. Really cute. Okay, we already did the color vibe. So let me move that along. Oof, this one's like, they're all stuck together. Oof. This is why I don't like that packaging and I repackage everything. <laughs> All right, so let me, I'm gonna segue into the, the um, Echo Park and then I will finish it up with the Christmas uh, Cartabella collection. So this is the Farmer's Market open daily by Echo Park. Gorgeous. This is so, oh, it's because it's too. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, this is so thick. Oh, look at that beautiful green. I, I love it. Beautiful. This is the four by four elements. Look at that. This is, I, I love this because I was like, oh my gosh, we're getting ready. We've started to plant. Even though we just had another like little freeze. <laughs> we had to bring everything in. Like, no. When I'm I don't know when this will go up, but I'm recording this in May. <laughs> All right. Um these are the three by four cut aparts. Oh look. That is some good stuff right there. Here is this beautiful wood grain. These are different size cut aparts on this side and just some black and white check. Oh, canning jars and beautiful floral. Some more floral. Oh, that yellow check and some four by six. Maybe this will prompt me to start jotting down some recipes from my mom. Flour and sugar. Beautiful. She actually said she wants to make something and I'm gonna watch her make it. Um, it's beautiful. Very soft, the red and the coral. I don't often put those two together, but how pretty is that looking? Um, this is very cute as well. You could use those for cut aparts. Oh, but I'm not, I will not sacrifice this paper. <laughs> No, no. And here's the sticker sheet. Okay. And last but certainly not least, it is the Farmhouse Christmas. Bye, Cartabella. Look at this beautiful floral. This floral comes up again in a little bit, and it's just, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. And you know, it's that Cartabella texture. Here we go. Beautiful. Love all these little tags. And the shiplap. Little ornaments. You can use it as a, um, you can fussy cut or you can use whatever, however you want. And look at the wood grain. And snowflake paper. And this beautiful green. Oh, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? wreaths and more wreaths on um, the black snowflake these are the three by four uh, three by four four by six cut aparts 
with this black and red check. Some stockings. I think this is black and, black and white check. This is the flower again on wood grain. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. And some strips. The little pine trees. And the red. These are really cute. Also, you can cut apart. And that green. Um, some flower boxes. You can cut apart and some holly. Beautiful. Love it, love it. All right, my friends. So this will probably be it for me for a while in terms of shopping. <laughs> but I feel very blessed that I was able to get the deals that I did. And um, that I really tried my best to shop smarter this go around and really um, purchase stuff that I knew that I was low on in terms of my inventory or that I knew that I have a project in mind coming up. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my haul of the things that I have brought into my space. I think the one of the things that I, as I reflect back, I think this go around, I was a little bit more than in previous perhaps in other in other previous years um that I was really intentional about the things that I was bringing in and they were either for photos that I have taken have um projects in the works have plans in the works those sort of things and um that I haven't bought stuff just to buy because it was on sale. Does that make sense? Um, if you've stayed around this long, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel as always. And if you wouldn't mind, just so that this video and my channel can be more visible to those in our community, just don't forget to subscribe, obviously, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.